We're out here looking for the Dixon Min file at the Lucky Strike property. And uh, we're headed down to the river now. There's supposed to be an old mine at it there. A couple of veins um, that are mineralized. So uh, let's head down there. So instead of hiking this, we're actually just going to fly the drone up and down so we don't have to waste our time. We're going to see if there's anything around this corner. Go down a few hundred meters and then go up a few hundred meters. The mine's supposed to be somewhere in this area. Unless the min files play strong, but we'll see. So, as you can see, we had a drone mishap and now we are flying solo with no drone. So we went upstream because we didn't see anything about 100, 200 meters downstream. And now we're up at this area here, just kind of across the river, taking a look. So far, I don't see anything that's too interesting other than I found a little bit of a uh, Shear in a rock that had a tiny, tiny bit of swell, right? It was about one centimeter wide. Wanted to check this out here. Looks like something happened here. A little bit of oxidation in there. And on the outside here, so I'm just going to poke around. See what's here. It's a hot one out today. Absolutely nothing in that area as well. We found a little bit of disseminated iron pyrite, but nothing else. I almost want to jump in the river. It's 35 degrees out right now. The most we found all day. Looks like someone was trying to sleep down here. But uh, doesn't look like they had a good sleep. Mattress is all broken up. So we're effectively about 400, 300 meters above where the Dixon min file is supposed to be and uh, didn't see anything below. So far I haven't seen anything above that's interesting. So we keep going. We are way farther now. 500 meters and we have not found the Dixon min file so it's Pretty off placed if it is on this river. Lots of sediment. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and walk up this old dried up creek bed here and get to the road. I have no clue how far away we are from the road now, but it's probably a half a kilometer through to that clearing. We've made it back onto the main road. Now it's just a 500 meter walk back to the truck. So to try and salvage the last couple hours of the day, we're back up here on the top of the mountain. We didn't find the Dixon Min file. We couldn't go too far down the river because it was just impassable with the canyon so we're gonna have to find a different way to get in at another time for now we're just gonna look at a couple areas here that we haven't seen before this one right here you have a large shear lots of oxidation on the rocks we're going to poke around for a couple minutes, try and find something that's worth sampling. Along this shear here, disseminated iron pyrite, pretty much in all this grayish silicous rock all along here, which follows up into here. 
you got patches of it in here. Looks like you got some epitotization here, similar to what you see at our new copper showing, which is interesting. So lots of disseminated iron pyrite, but I'm not seeing too much of anything else in this area, so we're going to keep on going. So we're not too far away from our calcopyrite showing. We found another oxidized area. And uh, look what we're finding. Same kind of rock. That black there is magnetite. So, very interesting. We're going to hammer out a nice big chunk of this here and see if we can get a better sample. So we've been breaking off hunks here, finding sporadic uh, massive patches of uh, magnetite, a little bit of pyrite in there. Just taking a sample from here, here, you can see up there there's magnetite and a mix of pyrite. Went up there, took a sample as well. More magnetite in here. And right there. So we got magnetite. Definitely for sure. Gonna have to spend some time, break into this outcrop a bit more. 150 meters around the corner from that showing is our calcopyrite showing here. We have massive calcopyrite and uh, we've gotten some big hunks off here. I'll show you quickly. Very nice looking. All throughout here. Massive calcopyrite. Down in here. In here. And it's the same rock type. As the uh, last showing with magnetite. So that is very interesting. Got your same epidotization in here. This showing continues and goes all the way around the corner there. What we wanted to do is peel off just a few more samples. So, we pulled off a few samples just to show some more massive calcopyrite. Nice bluish oxidation in there. And we have the last two samples here. That's the new copper showing. And that's it for the day. Six o'clock, time to head home. Take care, everyone.